All right, everybody, we're going to look at general troubleshooting. Now, if you remember, troubleshooting means trying to find out what the cause of a problem is. So if something's not working correctly, you start troubleshooting to see what could be causing it to not work correctly. So on a Windows 10 system, let's have a look at what troubleshooting is. How do we get there and what is available without troubleshooting? So we start with the window key on your keyboard, okay? Or the window key on the screen. You just go to the bottom, click on the window key. That brings up your menu, all right? And we're gonna click on settings. We're gonna go straight to settings. When you click on settings, you're gonna see this. This is your settings window and all the settings of your computer are now available for you to access. We're going to go to find a setting and type in the word troubleshoot. Now if you just type in the word troubleshoot you'll see a couple of options already start appearing and that's great because that is very helpful. We can actually see right so what we uh, what can we choose from this menu. We've got troubleshoot settings, sound settings, available recommended troubleshooting like they're already anticipating what you might be looking for troubleshoot other problems and I think they mean the computer though not other problems in general okay or recommended troubleshooting so that means when we go and choose any one of these options we're gonna get even more options and we can then choose further steps to take to fix these problems on the computer let's go ahead and click on show all results brace yourself yes there we have show all results just for the word troubleshoot okay we got troubleshoot settings sound settings all that sort of stuff so I'm gonna click on troubleshoot settings it takes me there to update and security let's have a look and see what do we have update and security scroll down to troubleshoot hit troubleshoot and now we can see right here are some of the available troubleshooters that we have internet connections playing audio printer, Windows Update, Bluetooth, connecting to a workplace, in incoming connection, so that's like um, remote desktop, I suppose, and, and, and torrenting and things like that, keyboard, network adapter, etc., 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 and it just keeps going. Let's see what else we have. Power, program compatibility, troubleshooter, recording audio, searching and indexing, uh, shared folders, Oh my goodness, there's loads. Um, what else? Uh, speech, video playback, Windows Store apps. So they pretty much cover almost everything you can think of on your Windows 10 computer as to what you might be looking for. And this all came from clicking on the troubleshoot settings. Have a look at the screen just for a minute, okay? And look at all the various things you can look at and search for in terms of trying to figure out what might be wrong with a particular part of your operating system you'll see that once you've chosen something you will then be presented with some sort of like a like a wizard or a, a guide to take you step by step through a process of troubleshooting asking you different questions which you respond to and in that process attempt to solve the problem and that is troubleshooting